Hey everybody, so in our live stream today we learned about fingerprints and why we have them. And our crafts that we did today had to do with um, showing us what our fingerprints look like and how we can better see them. So the first thing we did was looked at uh, taking some Play-Doh some, or some clay if you have it. Um, I had to home make my Play-Doh, which you can also do. And with our Play-Doh, what we want to do is just stick our fingerprint fingertip into it and look closely. If you have a magnifying glass, it'll help too. I'll just bring this to show you. And we can see inside of it our fingertips, what they look like. Now, this isn't always the clearest way to see it, so we're going to be trying out some other methods to show us what our fingerprints look like. For this next activity, what we'll need is a pencil, some scotch tape, and scissors and paper. And what we'll do first is just draw a very dark spot on our paper. Press really hard with the pencil. Okay. Now we're going to take our fingertip. Well, first actually, we need to lay out our tape. So go ahead and cut off a piece of this tape. and lay it down. <laughs> My fingerprints are already getting all over it. With the sticky side facing up. And what you're going to do is just rub your finger into the dark spot. And then go ahead, put it on the sticky side of the tape, peel it off, set it down on the paper. So now we can see this is much clearer to see what my fingerprint looks like. So this next one is the same idea, except we're using baby powder or flour, dark construction paper, and again, tape. You can use any color of construction paper, just something that'll make the baby powder show up. Okay, so again, we take our piece of tape and lay it with the sticky side facing up. Now, my fingertips are starting to get a little bit dry, and what you can do with this is put it on your hairline, put your fingertip on your hairline where the sweat and oil tends to be. I know it sounds gross, just so they can start to have a little bit more grip. So, just where your hair meets your forehead, there's a lot of oil there. Okay, now stick it into the baby powder, stick it onto the tape, easy. Then we st stick the tape down onto the construction paper. I think that the pencil actually worked better for me. How about you? What do you think? How did it work for you? Okay, for this one, we'll need the dark construction paper again. We'll need our baby powder again. We'll need a glass and again, our tape. Oh, and a makeup brush. Something that's soft, and we are going to use it to dust the baby powder, is what we call it. So, as we spoke about today, you leave your fingerprints everywhere you touch, even if you can't see them. So, somewhere you might leave your fingerprints are on a glass. So, go ahead and just touch your glass. I'm going to go inside, outside. Okay. So, if you, you can even see maybe, but there are some fingerprints here. So we're going to try to uncover these fingerprints and see if we can see them. So we're going to take our baby powder, just lightly, on our makeup brush, and we're going to go ahead and dust the outside of our glass. Do you see? These are where my fingerprints were. Okay, now we're going to take our tape and we're going to stick it to the outside of the glass. Then peel it off. And stick it onto our construction paper. And then we can see a bunch of 
fingerprints here too. And we can also see them on the glass. Isn't that cool that they were invisible and then they became visible? So something cool you're going to notice if you try this with your family is that every single person's fingerprint looks different. Nobody in the world has the same fingerprint, even the people you're related to. Okay, thanks for joining me today and I'll see you next week.